Hi, welcome. I'm Jeroen Broekhuis and I'll be showing you the Urban Flood FP7 program demo. Uh, what we uh, have here is the Microsoft Surface table. It's a multi-touch table so I can, I can use my hands and fingers to uh, operate it. Um, what you see here is a very basic map application. Um, so I can uh, go around the world and uh, zoom in. Currently we're in uh, Groningen here in the Netherlands and um, uh, what we've done is uh, added uh, a dike to the system uh, and we've put sensors in the dike and put the dike online so I'll be able to show the sensor data from uh, this table uh, through the internet so if we zoom in to the location of where the dike is which is uh, here um, I can add the layer for the dike and now you see it popping up here the green and red uh, parts of the dike and uh, what I can do with the map is I can also change for example to satellite view so you see here the uh, location of the harbor wh what the dike is protecting and here I can uh, zoom into the dike itself there are four sections uh, I can click each section oh, or use my fingers to touch the uh, dike and as you see here is a cross section of the dike and there are some sensors inside the dike and uh, what I can show is that each section has different sensors for example this one doesn't have A uh, sorry uh, but it does have KL which this one doesn't have um, so I can go through <coughs> these sections of the dikes and show the sensor data so if I take this one for example and use uh, the A sensor then you see here's the uh, water level on the outside of the dike uh, but you see there's a very small time frame here so what I can do is I can use my fingers and zoom out on this timeline here you see a red, little red line which is uh, the current time and here we have like almost from the 16th till the 18th of January so if I click it again you see it reloading the data and if I now select this one then you see the sensor data of a couple of days and uh, the same thing I can do with the map I can also do with my fingers using multi-touch and also zooming in on the sensor data itself and what's interesting is um, to try and correlate the sensor data with other data from the dike so for example I can drag this other sensor and see if there are any correlations between the data and as you see it's a steady rise here which is the same as the rise here and a drop here which is also dropping here and here it's rising again so you clearly see a correlation between the two sensor values uh, what's also possible is, uh, as you see, some coloring here. It's all green because the dike is behaving normally. <coughs> we have an AI currently trained on the data, and I, this is the raw view, so the raw sensor view, and I can change to an AI view where I can get AI um, uh, uh, data, which is predicting the behavior of the dike. So if I take this sensor, here you see it's an anomaly probability so zero is uh, almost no uh, indication of any errors and as you can see there are some spikes here and there when it goes to one and it indicates maybe something is happening at the dike location so it'll be interesting to see if we can correlate these uh, values with the sensor values that I just showed you um, another thing uh, we can do with this system is uh, in a crisis situation where there are multiple people all touching the table at the same time or browsing through the map is uh, when you have a discussion on okay what if maybe this dike is suddenly red and uh, like for example it's now turning orange uh, and there is some uh, flooding going on uh, we can use this special marker I place it on here and then I can select what I want to do I'll put it on the other side so you can more, uh, see more clearly now you have flooding selected and I can draw on the map using my fingers and indicate for example this area is going to be flooded 
and maybe there are some people and I'll take it off, zoom out, put it back on, uh, living here in this area and they need to be evacuated and the direction that they uh, need to take is they all need to move here. So uh, what you can clearly see now is I can use the table to um, um, uh, make plans and talk about the crisis situation and discuss this with other people. Alright, thank you for your attention and uh, um, hopefully you'll be able to show, uh, to uh, play with it on the demo. Alright.